Now, still to come on tonight's programme. As Dunkirk opens on the big screen, we speak to the Newry firm who stepped in to help restore one of the rescue boats. Now, a Newry company has come to the rescue of one of the last remaining Dunkirk small ships. It was involved in the rescue of almost 350,000 British and French soldiers, including hundreds of volunteers from Northern Ireland. What unfolded during one of the most significant events of the Second World War is now being immortalised in a brand new Hollywood adaptation. A moment in history told for a new audience on the big screen. On Allied forces surrounded by the Germans at Dunkirk in northern France, their only means of escape across the English Channel. The call went out to boats across Britain to help the Navy in their rescue. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war, George. Among them, the Willadora, a fishing trawler, one of the only surviving vessels of its vintage involved in the evacuation and one of the first to arrive at the scene. Built in 1901, it was salvaged by volunteers from an English maritime history organisation. It's now being restored thanks to the intervention of a Newry company. We started to look and get excited about the possibilities of being involved in such a world, a worthwhile uh, aspect to think uh, and to stand on the deck of this vessel that saved so many lives. It was, it was really quite emotional and, and exhilarating, if that's the right word. Almost 350,000 soldiers, including hundreds from Northern Ireland, were rescued thanks to the little ships of Dunkirk. It was the small ships that saved the day. Uh, I mean, the destroyers could not have picked up more than a fraction of the men. Churchill said to save 50,000 troops uh, in that evacuation would have been a miracle. They saved nearly 350,000 troops and the flower of the British Expeditionary Force. The Willadora will now lead out the tall ships at the start of next year's race. A little boat which continues to make a big impact thanks to a local helping hand.